Meantime, closer to home, some American teachers are seeing how the war is impacting Ukrainian and Russian children. The Aquinas International Academy is an online K-12 school in St. Pete that has students all over the world, Caitlin. Yeah, 10 Team of Bay, Jenny Dean, talked to the vice principal of that school, and uh, these kids are, of course, handling a very tough situation, the school hell, handling it as delicate as they can. Absolutely. You know, much like the rest of the world, these teachers and administrators, they were told, pretty unlikely there's going to be a war, don't worry about it, everything will be fine, but they started making plans just in case, and now, of course, they are glad they did. Hi, Leah, how are you? Hello, I'm fine. I'm so happy to see you. <laughs> <laughs> Good. This is Professor Packer's class. Her students from all over the world log on twice a week for lessons. Moscow, and then here is the Ukraine. Jennifer Williams oversees the school right from her home office in St. Pete. And we currently do between four and 500 live sessions a week right now. I have about 40 teachers and we're in 20 countries and in 12 different time zones. Initially, they discussed putting the Ukrainian students on hold, but the students still wanted to try and keep up with their lessons. They've developed these incredible relationships with our teachers and they're, you know, so, and they did. Um, all but like two logged on and wanted to have class. The school even did a special lesson for any of the students to take on mindfulness and handling stress. What about today? Which one are you feeling today? Calm um, and maybe a little bit uh, angry and happy. And teachers are told to let the kids talk about how they're feeling, but to be careful how they react. Uh, what we sent this teachers right off the bat was a do and don't. Do say this, don't say this. And a lot of that was the political things. But the kids want to talk about a little bit about that. So we just listen. They do. They just listen. And Jennifer tells me many of the Ukrainian students' parents are keeping in touch with the teachers, letting them know how things are going. And some of the stories are very, very sad, but others, they are of resilience. She spoke about one student who was fleeing to Bulgaria, but all along the way, that student still managed to log on to his live lessons from his phone. Wow.